Um, it it is something something very intense because you're it, it's not, not it's not the right word to say you're the middle of the of the evening of the, of the performance, but there are a lot of energies coming at the same time at one point together, and you have to bring them somehow together. And um, so therefore, you're kind of manager or kind of um, director in the evening, and you really you have to lead these energies. The this the speed of, of the performance, the the voices you have to breathe with them, everything. So it's something very you have to, you have to be very active, very spontaneous. What I love uh, in in the evenings, and uh, you have to react a lot. And this is uh, everything about conducting opera. I feel I feel yeah not not exhausted, but I feel always very touched because it, this is one of the operas where you always in the beginning of the performance you always hope that tonight uh, there's a different ending and tonight there will be happy ends and something and there's not this horrible suicide. So um, I, I feel like the audience very touched at the end of, of Madame Butterfly. Yes, I, th I think it, it, is, it feels always completely different because you have always different people um, to work with. So you have other singers who have other physiology, who have other needs, so they, they breathe differently, they, their idea is differently. And sometimes, of course, you have to make uh, appointments. You have to 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 make deals. We we try to find out what what is really the best possible way um, to show this production to to bring these people on stage and make them alive. We have the great great possibility that we are in one fantastic concert hall. We have all the people. We are flexible, and we can we can try something out. So sometimes, especially in the rehearsals. I, at, at the very end, in the final rehearsals, I always try to to go uh, to see how far can I go with the tempo, for example, how much can I speed down in the show, how much can I take out the speed again, and um, just also to see what is possible in the performances, because I think it, it, it is very important that a performance is the same, is, is alive and is spontaneous. It's, I think it's much more alive and it's much more interesting than just repeating it like a recording, because we don't want to produce recordings. We want to make an evening, and we want to have an evening which is alive and which touches everybody. And everything is about that. Oh, I love it. I, I really, this is not because I'm, I want to be nice and, and everything. I really love it, I have to say. It's a kind of friendliness and warm, warmness, which, which, which keeps it very intense and, and, and nice. It's it's really nice to be here, and uh, I have the experience here. If you walk this down the street, and that there are really a lot of people want to help you somehow. If you if you open the map, people are coming. Or do you need anything? Do you need help? Shall I show you something? Whatever. And a city full of fantastic restaurants and great food. <laughs> also have to say, <laughs> I thought as you know. What, there are sometimes other moments in, in productions when nothing is working or a big problem. You know, this happens sometimes. Then you're thinking, oh God, what should, I should do something completely different. <laughs> and then I'm thinking, and I know, um, yeah, but what should I do? Oh, actually, there's nothing <laughs> which really interests me. So I had the great luck that I knew from the age of 12 that I want to be a conductor and I want to be an opera conductor. It was a, a children's dream. I always wanted to be that. It's this is fantastic, and it's uh, I think the most beautiful job in the entire world. I don't want to change with anybody, and I could not imagine to do anything else. <laughs> I have to say, and therefore I'm poor. <laughs>